What's up, everybody? <laughs> Trying to get everything, make sure everything is hooked up here. Can't tell if anybody's here. Oh, my makeup looks kind of crazy, but uh, this is makeup on second graders for eight hours. My husband has his wound care nurse there in um, the living room. I wonder if I can. No, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe I can um, put on Do Not Disturb, but I think it'll turn off my internet. We don't want to do that. Anyway, I see somebody's here. I'm going to go on my computer and bring myself up over here so that I can maybe read some messages. My husband's super loud. <laughs> How does the video look for whoever's here? I have some lights up and everything. I feel like I'm not centered and it's bugging me. <laughs> so maybe I'm probably gonna make it come out of here. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Hi, Judy. Hi, Mary. I can. How you guys doing? It is almost Friday. Hallelujah. I'm trying to make some adjustments here. I look like I don't have any hair. <laughs> there we go. How's everybody doing? I have not been live, I think, since my YouTube anniversary in June. I think it's been that long. It's been a long time. Hey, it's been a long time. I'm going to be looking over here a little bit whenever I need to make sure I can see what you guys are saying. I will miss some of your messages. If you're trying to say something important to me, then definitely repeat yourself if you need to. <laughs> Anyways, good to see you guys. Like I said, it's been months since I've done a live and I used to love it so much. And I just, the only excuse I have is I'm with second graders for eight hours a day and they wear me out so when i get home i'm just kind of like in the chair like hmm. just taking siestas so hey byron how are you hi mom my mom is here i saw your text message mom you said you look so pretty i'm like i'm not on there yet am i <laughs> I was like i hope i'm not on there because i was like primping and trying to make myself look better <laughs> I got the dark darkness going on. It's been a not feel very good day. Hi, Kimberly Rose. Well, guys, you know, I've been trying to keep control of myself with the shopping and the buying of the makeup. And I've been really trying to use what I have and enjoy what I have. And so I have really curbed the makeup buying. But the boxy pop-up store is an exception that I made because they have, it is so discounted that it's really hard for me to pass those things up. And so a lot of the things that were in at this time were palettes and things that I had already had my eye on, some replacement items for products that I know I love. Um or that I use regularly that I'm going to buy anyway. So I absolutely wanted to get them for that cheap. And I mean, it's just a fraction of the cost. And so I took advantage of it. Hello, Kamira. Kamira, tell me how to pronounce your name. <laughs> yes, add-ons, boxy pop-up. But like I said, good deals and i was really even though i said i i got kind of buck wild this time i still put back a whole bunch of stuff that i had in my cart so i did think about what i was doing i did weigh what i needed and what i already had like i have enough highlighters i put highlighters back there's a lot of things that i put back um so i'm proud of myself for that but i still got quite a few things 
the second time, Kamira. That's a pretty name, I like that. So this is really cool, you guys. Oh, Mary, oh, your first BoxyCharm. Guys, I have been subscribed to BoxyCharm almost the entire time that they've been in existence. Um, I got in right at the ground floor. And so I did stop it for a while. Uh, it got kind of, I don't know, kind of transitional there for a while before they really started working with some of the bigger brands. And I was just like, mm, I have enough sample stuff. And I felt like I was giving away more than I was keeping. But now it's really not like that. Yeah. Hank and Henry. I am stuck on It Cosmetics Superhero Gel Liner, and I just cannot find anything that I like better. I'm probably going to, I'm just going to go ahead and take this off. These lights are making me hot. But yeah. Hi, Marlo. I didn't see you come in. Marlo! That's my bestest friend out there. Okay. I kind of wanted to let people get in, but before I started digging into this box. I opened it, but I haven't really looked at anything. And I remember everything that I bought, but it's still gonna kind of be like a surprise, right? I'm excited about it. So everybody meet each other. Everybody, this is everybody. <laughs> I haven't, I was telling everybody when I first got here, I haven't done a live since I think June. My YouTube anniversary is on June 19th and I, I'm pretty sure that that's the last time I did a live. It was around the time that the ABH, um, all of a sudden, the beast person, I'm forgetting, Alyssa Edwards palette when that came out. And Marlo and I are doing this thing where we choose a palette and we use it for a whole week. And she and I use the same one this week and we're like, struggling hardcore with this palette and we're like why are we keeping this so we've been having this discussion about why are we continuing to house things that we don't like that somebody else could be enjoying and i was talking about how i sentimentally hold on to things yeah we have been on the struggle bus like this looks like crazy business with these lights shining on it but of course i had allergy crud and i've been <laughs> all day long so anyway it was the emily noel palette and i love me some emily noel and so we were talking about how i had this sentimental attachment to it and she's like when are you going to pick this up again and i'm like probably never and that's probably true so why am i going to house it and i'm like i'm cluttering up all the things that i love with things that i don't love and that makes no sense so i need to get rid of some of this stuff. It's hard for me to get rid of eyeshadow palettes. I can get rid of almost anything but eyeshadow palettes. So what is the one item that you guys have like sentimental attachment to that you have the most difficulty decluttering? What is that one makeup area? Like highlighters, foundations, powders, eyeshadow palettes, lippies, like what is it? For me, it's eyeshadow palettes and lippies are the things that I have the most difficult time letting go of. Even if it's expired, even if it doesn't work well for me, I still have trouble getting rid of it. Hey, Jamie. Yeah, we were saying it's like you get super spoiled with Jeffree Star. For me, for sure Jeffree Star just because the shadows work so well you get so spoiled that when you go back to something like revolution and for the price revolution is good i'm not saying it's a bad product it's not but when you're spoiled on shadows that have really good pigmentation and blend out like a dream it's like when you have to struggle to do it it's like why am i doing this to myself <laughs> hey i am getting the jeffrey palette that's it. After that, back to the extreme low buy, really. Back to it. My kitty cats are coming in here, so we may have some visitors. Okay, we ready to, di to dive into this box? I I'm ready to remind myself what I got. But yeah, that purple velvet thing, I was over with. Are you guys completely suckers for packaging? I'm a sucker for the packaging.
I need a husband. Well, I do have a husband. He tells me to get whatever I want, but he doesn't like force me to do it. He doesn't say, you're getting it. He doesn't even know who Jeffree Star is, okay? All right, first thing, I'm gonna be talking about all the bad influence that Marlo has been on me in the process of this video here. So since since Marlo's always talking all, all kinds of stuff about me on her lives, then I'm gonna talk stuff about her on my live. <laughs> you ready for it, girl? Okay, Paracone MD facial cleanser. This is the vitamin C ester citrus brightening cleanser. And she's like, it's the best thing ever. And I'm like, it's, it can't be the best thing ever. It cannot be $49 worth of best thing ever. <laughs> and I'm like, there's no way ever in life that I'm paying $49 for a cleanser. And I didn't, I can't remember it was on sale. She's like, you need to try it while, while it's on sale. And I'm like, all right. Okay. So I love it. But guys, it was $8 at the pop-up. And I'm not going to remember all the prices of everything. I'll say, you know, if I remember what it is. I remember this specifically because I got two for less than half price for one. So, anyway, it's really nice. Okay, I see every... Oh, hey, Debbie. How are you? Um, it comes in a really... I mean, Paracone is pretty minimal as far as their packaging is concerned, but this is glass and it's dark glass. Since it's vitamin C, it needs to be kept in dark glass. Comes with a nice pump, super nice. It's just, what I love so much about it is it's super gentle. It does get off everything, but it leaves your face feeling soft. It doesn't feel stripped. And with the vitamin C, it's very brightening too. Yeah, I told, I, I thought I, I did. I told you that it was on sale and I was, I figured by the time you got there, it was going to be sold out. So I'm glad. Is it just me? Am I the only person who every time I take a product out of a box, I can't get it back in there the right way? Because these are my backups. I have one that I'm working on in my bathroom right now. I have about, you know, full transparency here. I have about 12 cleansers that are in varying stages of, of used up that I'm trying to use up. And so I haven't used it that much. Hi. <laughs> my kitty keeps making noise over there. And I'm like, my husband's wound care nurse is here. And so he's all nervous. He's not used to many visitors. Yes, but I won't be trying the nutritive one for a while. Bless you because I have two of these. All right. Don't hate on me because I didn't realize it until after I already bought it that these are mink lashes. And ordinarily, I am not a cruelty-free person that I adhere to cruelty-free all the time, but I try to. And so I try not to buy mink lashes. And it was, I just saw these and I'm like, these are fancy, these are pretty, and put them in the basket. And it wasn't until I got my notice that it said mink. And I ordinarily, Lisa, I ordinarily don't buy mink lashes. But that being said, this is by Unscripted Beauty. And these are the style legendary. Marlo, I know Marlo will like these. <laughs> I know. I've been talking about all this stuff about, um, about how I could probably not buy makeup for five years and probably, I would never run out of makeup for the, I mean, eyeshadow for the rest of my life. There's just no doubt about it. But I could probably go two years on skincare. Anyways, yeah, I didn't realize they were mink, but I already have them. And I bought like three or four different pairs in different styles. So they're pretty. I'll wear them, but ordinarily I do not buy mink lashes if I know that they're mink lashes. Yep, I didn't even notice. Okay, and I think they were seven bucks a piece or something like that. Anyway, I am, I do try to buy cruelty-free. There's a lot of things that I'm not sure about sometimes. 
Um, the next thing is the Aesthetica. There's like, the glare is being kind of rude to me tonight. Um, I got one of these in my BoxyCharm and I didn't think I was going to like it, but I ended up really liking it. And so it's got one body sponge. So I guess, I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is like flat. It's kind of like one of those things that Beauty Blender came out with to supposedly was supposed to soak up oil, which kind of sucked me smooth out. But anyway, it, except this is kind of, it's about an inch thick. So I don't know, but I got two baby blenders and one regular blender. And I told Lisa <laughs> the other night I was washing sponges while I was on Marco Polo with her. And she, and I'm like, I need to retire some of these, but I cannot make myself. That's the other thing. I keep sponges forever. She's like, cut one of them open and see what's inside. <laughs> And then you won't keep it. So I retired five baby blenders and I think one or two mama blenders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't stop. And, and see, I'm like kind of purposely avoiding the palettes in here because there's a lot of palettes in here. But I really like, is it, I call it Ace Butte. I don't know. My thing is there's a little accent mark right there. If they didn't, if they wanted it to be just Ace Beauty, it would just be a Y. It wouldn't be an E with an accent mark. So, I say Ace Beauty. And most people say Ace, Ace Beauty or Ace Booty. <laughs> anyway, Ace Beauty. There was a bunch of them in there and they were super duper cheap and I know I like their formula. So, I'm like, My husband just talked to Alexa. He told me he wouldn't ever use it. He didn't like it. The CIA was listening to him. And mm 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 mm. He just told he just told Alexa to set a timer. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he said he would never use it. Okay, so I got the aesthetic, and these were like six bucks. So I figured, yeah. And now. My friend Lisa sent me tons of stuff for Christmas and she sent me this AOA sponge from Shop Miss A. It is like $1.55 and it is so awesome. I will never buy another $15, $20, even $7 beauty blender. They are so good, you guys. And I am really picky about blenders. So, <laughs> do you remember, Kimberly, whenever? I set yours off and made yours play Bruno, Ma Bruno Mars. <laughs> we were, I don't know what we were on polo, I guess, and I said something and and hers started playing 24 karat magic and she's like, ah! hey Lee, how are you? It is Aesthetica. Hey, Deb, I haven't seen you in a long time, girl. How are you? See, that's why I need to do a live because I get to see all my old friends. I get to see all my new friends. I just haven't done this in a really long time. I am really doing well. It's almost Friday. I got a big box of goodies over here, which always enhances my mood. Yeah. Okay. Next, this is the highest, this is the highest price thing that I bought. And it was because I was butthurt because they did not put this in my boxy charm and I was not happy about it. And this is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Sleepy Mask. I love sleepy masks. I love them. Whenever I use, I have been using the Dr. Brandt one. Um, but like I told you on one of my videos, I told Dr. Brandt I was going to have to date other people because I really like it. I like Dr. Brand, but I need to date some other people. So I got the Glow Recipe and it was 25 bucks and that was expensive, but that was still super inexpensive compared to the retail price. She is fun. And the coolest part is she says really nice things about me, Byron. I'll, I'll, I'll see if she can say it here in a minute. I'll let you guys hear what, um, what she says about me whenever I ask her about who I am. 
We'll do that after the haul, if you guys remind me. I have never tried the L sponges. I've looked at them and I've thought about it a couple times and I'm just like, ugh, I don't know. I have had so many um, sponges that didn't work for me. That's why I bought those because I knew I liked the texture of those, the consistency. And I like black sponges because they don't look so stained and dirty. I'm that weirdo that things, if it looks stained, it, I, it makes it makes me feel like it's dirty even though I've washed it like for 18 hours. I still feel like it's dirty. I know, it's her fault, Lee, it's her fault. I wasn't about to get one of those and I got a ring doorbell which is still not installed because I have to drill a hole into some brick and that makes me nervous. Um, I need my friend Becky to help me and I just, yeah, I'm, I'm scared. Um, it came with my, with my ring doorbell. And then I got another one for my living room. Yeah, so she's, she's a bad influence. Okay, next I got the Pure Cameo Contour Dual Ended Contour Foundation. The reason I got this is because even though I've been a super big snob about, it has a blender. Unfortunately, I don't like pure blenders. They, that one is all kinds of funkity. Look at that. It looks like somebody done chopped it off. It got bent, but it looks like somebody done chopped its ear off or something. Anyway, I don't like the consistency of these. They, I think BoxyCharm sent out three of these once. They're too firm and stiff and yuck. Anyway, um, I, I'm always talking stuff about cream contour, but I started watching those stupid compilation videos where they show one person after the next and they, anyway, I can't get it out of here. And they do the, you know, and I just wanted to do that. So I got one of these contour stick thingy do walkers. That looks super orange. We'll have to see about it. Anyways, for real? I didn't know she sings. I didn't know she was entertainer. My favorite things about it so far is I love that I can tell, like if I'm listening to a song, I can say, add this to Sherry's favorites playlist. So then when I'm at the gym, my, my favorites playlist has all these songs that I've already chosen to listen to. <laughs> I was listening to it on Tuesday when I was at the gym and it was like Lionel Richie and Cece Winans and Gavin DeGraw and... Lots of country people. It was a whole crazy variety of music. But anyway, so I'm gonna try the cream contour thing. <laughs> you are an entertainer, Jamie. You make me laugh all the time. Me too. My favorite CC Wine and Song is called Mercy Said No. If you've never heard that song, it's one of those songs that just gets you deep down in your soul where you just feel like like you can't hardly stand but close your you have to close your eyes. There's another one by Israel Houghton called um, Your Presence is Heaven to Me and it just grips my soul and and if you guys ever see me on a video where I'm like closing my eyes and I'm like worship break it's probably one of those songs because I can't like sit and listen to it I have to close my eyes I have to sing because they get me deep down in my soul um CC Winans and um Israel Houghton are Christian music Mary, I'm sorry. Hi. I love you, Mary. I'm so glad you're here. Yay. Well, have you ever heard of the Winans family? Because they are a big time gospel. They're a gospel mainstay. They're incredible. They're incredible. They give me all the feels. You know, all the feels. They give me all the feels. If I missed anybody else... Jamie. Jamie and Kimberly. You're making me feel bad. <gasps> Here. 
and a wink and a wink and a wink for anybody who wants one. There's all the loves. There's all the loves. Ooh, look at all my new Sashka bracelets. You guys think that I just do a video and I don't really like the things. I'm just trying to get PR stuff. I love these bracelets so much. My mom and I got addicted to them. I don't know if my mom is still there, but we're addicted to the Sashka bracelets. How cool are they? They're so pretty. I even have one that looks like a flag. That's okay. I love you all, and you know this. I give you kisses on polo every day. All right, next is Becca Skin Love. This is one of those things that I did not need. I did not need another primer, but I have never tried a Becca primer, so I kind of wanted to do that. I say that, I, I have used like that illuminating one, but this says Brighten and Blur Primer. I like blurring primers. I need to get you one, Marlo. I meant to get everyone one at Christmas time, but I don't know what happened. I have too many primers too. I'm ready for more too. Me and my mom are addicted to them. She keeps calling me and she's like, ah, look at this one, look at this one. This is pretty packaging. It's kind of like a ombre mint green to white. It's pretty. I hope it's a pump. It would not be. <laughs> so I'm trying to pull it off and it's not a bump. Okay. It is pretty. I like mint green. Mint green is pretty. And guys, my nails are so busted that it's not even funny. And I didn't even want to put on any nails. And I didn't even want to paint them because tomorrow night I'm going to do a sleep study and they have to keep an oxygen sensor on my finger. And so I'm going to have to take it off. I'm like, I'm not even going to go through the trouble. But all these, this, I know this, and I think this, I think these were both either $3 or $6. I can't remember. But like the majority of everything that I got was under 10 bucks, except for that glow recipe. The new pinks. I love all of them. This one is like Tiffany blue. It, I think it's my favorite. We have, let me go grab them. We have some more. The one that I really like is the one that looks like an American flag. It's so cool. And guess what? I have pants on so I can stand up. Okay. Well, I'm getting ready to be more than likely. Here's a rose gold and white one. And this was one of my very first ones. I still love it. And then pink and rose gold. So pretty. But how cool is this? It looks like a flag. And we got a red one to go with it. Isn't that cool? It's got little stars and stripes because I'm a patriot. <laughs> I thought about taking them off because I didn't want to be too hot. You guys don't understand. These lights are hot. These lights are hot. My mama, Kamira, my mama is the best in the world. I have the best one. Out of all the ones that God made, he gave me the very best one of all. He did. Um, it is Sashka.com, S-A-S-H-K-A. -S I have it, I almost always have it in my description box, I think. <laughs> Bye, Debbie. Thank you so much for stopping by. It was good to see you. Happy filming. But anyway, what was I talking about even? Oh, I can almost, uh, hit me up on Facebook. I can almost always get you a really good code for about 70% off. And here is the next pair of lashes and these are called Blueprint. These are a little bit less uh, dramatic as the other ones were. Not as dramatic as the other ones were. Pretty though. 
And guys, there will be an avalanche. Since I'm stacking everything over here, there will be an av avalanche before this is over, I promise you. Oh, they're pretty. They're pretty. But again, mink. Okay. I got this set. They had already sent these. This is the um, Alamar brushes. They had already sent these in a boxy charm, but the reason I got these is because my very favorite cut crease brush that I use all the time, and you can tell because it's all flat and caked with P. Louise base. Um, I wanted a second one, and this whole set was three bucks. So, you know, those flat shader brushes that have that little that are real rounded there. So you're just already, you already have the perfect shape for cut creases. So me too. They're really pretty. I ended, I just, I didn't do an unboxing um, of my boxy charm. Like I just, I kind of lost the desire to do, to do it. And so I just hardly ever do it anymore. I will unbox my, um, I unboxed my premium the first time I got it, and I, I will unbox my Lux because I always do that. But anyways, I can't find the third one, but these came in my boxy charm or boxy premium. I have another one somewhere. <laughs> Lisa said, use the one with the knobbies. I'm like, there's not one that has knobbies, and she told those that totally has knobbies. So it was cool. I like this shape for blush too, so I'm happy. But anyway, it looks so pretty with this, but now I have a second cut crease brush, which, which makes me happy, and another blending brush. But this one, is it just me? Am I just challenged? I cannot, like these flat brushes, like I cannot <laughs> do, like I watch people do that back and forth with these. With this thing, like, I feel like I'm stabbing myself in the eye the whole time. Do you guys use that shape of brush? Whenever I'm doing my lower lash line, I like a fluffy, like, the Morphe M507, or I like the Morphe um, E36 if I'm getting up real close. It's real soft, and it just hugs my eye. This thing, like, I don't know. I just feel like I can't ever really, I don't know. I see people use them all the time, but when I try it, it feels so wrong and so unnatural. Do you guys like these? I'm I'm glad I'm not the only one, Mary, because I like if there's somebody who loves these, I probably have 18 of them <laughs> that I can give to you if somebody really likes this shape. So that's why I got those because I wanted the cut crease brush. Cause you know, if you guys have I cut a lot of it out. But I used to always, like, in my videos, I would be searching for brushes, like, 95% of my life. And 95% of my life, I'm still searching for brushes all the time. So, what do you do? You buy more. You know, when you don't have enough, you buy more. You know? When you don't buy, when you don't have enough, you buy some more. Look at, holy cow! Lex just scared the fire out of me. How cute is that cup that my friend Krista gave me for Christmas, I think last year, or my birthday? Isn't that cute? It's a kitty cat with a crown. And then if you still can't find them, you just buy some more. And if you don't ever want to wash them, you just buy some more. That's always my answer. Buy some more. Erica, hi! Now I have to blow kisses to everybody because Jamie gave me the guilty, the guilty feels. And I don't like the guilty feels. I need to stop it. I need to wash them. That's what I need to do. Okay, so I got the Becca, Chloe, Malika something. And I love Becca lipsticks. Do you guys love Becca lipsticks? I love the formula. I have some, I bought some little baby ones, some... Baby ones at Christmas, they had a three pack that was in this ornament thing. And I got one in, in a boxy charm. I love Becca lippies. And this one's pretty. Look at her. 
I'll swatch it for you, even though I don't think I have any makeup wipes here. Ooh, this reminds me of um, Gerard 1995 and French Toast, kinda. Yes, they are, the, the consistency is so nice and the component is really nice. It's, oh, I don't remember it being magnetic. Look, 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 look. Oh my gosh. Is there anybody else who is obsessed with that? I'm obsessed with that. Oh. It's almost as good as peeling the thing off the mirror. I love to peel the thing off the mirror. <laughs> but this is, I got to do it again. Oh my gosh, I love magnetic closures. It's just ridiculous. You know what? Before I found YouTube and the beauty community, I was convinced that there was not anyone in the world that got as excited about makeup or geeked out on it as hardcore as I did. <laughs> so I am so glad that I have these kindred spirits out there in the world. All of you. Um, I do, I do have some of those nets. Yes. These things, where did it go? I had one on this. These things. Yes. But I, in general, I just, um, I have one of those trees. I shape them and I hang them upside down and usually they stay. I love you more. And I do have some makeup wipes right here. But anyways, I can geek out on makeup all day, every day. I never get tired of it. And I know people who don't get it in, in my life probably get so tired of hearing. My poor mom, every time I see her, I'm like, how pretty are these lashes? How pretty is this lippy? But usually it's, how pretty are these lashes? <laughs> mom, confirm. I'm like, how pretty are these lashes? And I'll be like, and I can't do it like justice right now because I'm not wearing any. And these are my piddly sad lashes that I really don't have any. <laughs> like, yes, see? I'm always like, how pretty are these? <gasps> how pretty is this eyeshadow? And today is Marlo. It looks patchy the house with these lights shining on it. Okay, Ace Beauté. Or organic, <laughs> oceanic palette. Don't you love their artwork? Isn't it beautiful? It looks like, um, what's it called where they use the pigments in, oh my gosh. <sighs> Brain on second graders just doesn't work. What's it called where they do the ink on your hand? Henna. Is it called henna? Henna. Henna tattoos. That's what these designs always remind me. The beautiful henna tattoos is what they remind me of. But anyways, this is the Oceanic. Oceanic? Oceanic palette? Okay. 14 hours later. If you guys saw the amount of time I cut out of my videos with me trying to open a box or a package of some kind. It's crazy. How you doing, Erica? It was worth it to come on live just to see all of you guys and talk to you real time. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like a jade green, like a grade. Oh, holy cow. Marlo, hold on to your eyelashes. You ready for this? You might fall out your chair. You ready? Because this is something that would make you very happy, happy, happy. You ready? Here we go. Boom. Oh, look at there. That's some pretty business right there. Girl. You know why I got this? Because of this periwinkle color. How pretty is that? Periwinkle color. I've never seen that color before. And if this green um, shimmer, very rarely have I ever seen kind of like an authentic Kelly green shimmer and matte. So pretty. I think it was like eight bucks. 
I think this was eight bucks. You can't even get a four pan thing at Walmart for eight bucks anymore. Isn't it pretty? You ain't getting this one. I love you very much, but you ain't getting this one. She's like, you don't love me that much then, do you? Shoot. I don't think that just because you have blue eyes, you can't wear blue or green. I don't know. I am just the rebel when it comes to makeup. I'm like, I'm going to wear what I want to wear when I want to wear it. Really, I love that color. It reminds me kind of of like Tiffany blue. Like this one, it has a little bit more of a purple. I don't ever know what word to use. Hue to it, but... Anyways, that's the first Ace Beauté. And the next Ace Beauté is Flare. Ooh. And this one, Marlo's gonna love because it's orange. She loves orange. She loves her some orange. That's her favorite color, if you didn't know. <laughs> I'm being obnoxious. Anyway, per D. Ooh. Ooh wee. <laughs> I'm just praying that none of these are broken. <sighs> this is a really pretty fall palette. And the reason that I really wanted this one is because of these three colors and this one and ah oh, that really pretty tangerine green purple hello green purple it's orange ding dong tangerine color of orange it's pretty you know you want it marlo you take donations remember oh and i like this taupey color of this taupey color hey taupey we call my husband taupey because he was making fun of us because we were talking about makeup and we were talking about Topi and he thought he was so funny saying, Topi, Topi. So now that's his nickname. <laughs> See what he gets for trying to trying to be cute, trying to be funny. He gets a nickname for life, Topi. Welcome back, Jamie. Do I need to give you kisses again so that you know that I love you? I'm being sarcastical. I need lots of coffee tonight, folks, but I'm actually going to relax after I'm done. I'm gonna cook myself a chimichanga, a keto chimichanga, and I'm gonna sit on my backside and relax. I did not put out a video this morning because I was feeling all kinds of tired. I was feeling all kinds of, I can't do it today. I was feeling like that. Chip! Mwah! That is my beautiful friend Chip, and she is expecting a baby, and its nickname is Vampire Chicken McNugget Butterball. His name is. His name is Vampire Chicken McNugget Butterball. We need to call him strawberry too because you've been eating up some strawberries, girl. And these are the last pair. I think the last pair. This is level up is the, these are those kind that touch your eyebrows. See, a lash ain't a lash unless when you, when you look up, you can massage your eyebrows with it. I don't even know what Mako space is. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, poor Travis. We're, we're naming his child for him. 18 different names. I told, I told Chip, I said, by the time this baby's born, he's going to have 872 nicknames and he's not going to understand any of them. <laughs> oh, I've never even heard of that. I used to be a chatting fool. Okay. I'm saving the non, uh, the non-makeup item for last. Aw, all my peoples are here. My Becky needs to come. 
My Nona needs to come. Okay, I got some Invisibobbles. I use them all the time. And these were just like two bucks or something. And usually three pack is six, seven bucks. So I got some replacement Invisibobbles. I use them all the time. Of course my phone's gonna ring. And with my all, all my little extra hair pieces, you can't see them anyway, but I love these because they don't get stuck in my hair, they don't tear my hair, and I can put them around my wrist and they stay there and it's just, I just love them. Okie dokie, last Ace Butte palette. Oh, I thought he was cussing somebody out. Time to test your lifeline. Please press the lifeline button you are wearing. This is a recording. Does anybody need um, medical assistance? Because I can push the button. Ace Butte Quintessential Eyeshadow Palette. This is the last one. Okay, I only got three. I am actually super impressed with myself because I think at one time I had like seven or eight in my basket. Yes, my husband has one of those lifeline things. So if anything happens when I'm gone, he can push the button and help will come for him. He has seizures and he has lots of medical issues. You guys already know this. Um, I was saying before you got here that his wound care nurse was here dressing his legs. He's diabetic and wheelchair bound and he's in, he has some wounds on his legs right now and has just recently started dialysis. So it's been kind of a a cruddy time, which has also been part of the reason why I haven't been live because I've been very occupied with lots of things. Lots of lots of things. All right, Ace Butte, Quintessential. Isn't that pretty? I love their artwork. I bet you, I'm not a half bad artist. I bet you I could draw something like that. I bet you I could. Thank you. We're doing much better. We're both hanging in there, at least. Okay, here's the last one. I kind of like the fact that these color stories are just a little bit different in a bunch of ways. You know what I mean? They're just a little bit different in the way that they're arranged. Like this is a silver, but there's a little bit of taupe in there. And like this is orange, but it's got a gold, it's got gold going through it. I love this. I would be swatching these for you, but I take pictures. I am a nerd and a half about makeup, you guys. <laughs> I take pictures of them, partly because I just want a picture of them when they're in their pristine condition. And I also take a picture of them because at times whenever I'm doing editing, I will use the palette and, you know, put little cutesies on it to show you what shade I'm using. And I want it to be before I annihilate it with my brushes. You do. But this just came today. This just came today. So I haven't had it um, for a while. Okay, and I am so excited about these. Oh my gosh, I have been wanting one of these forever. And this is actually a two pack and these things are expensive, expensive AF. Okay, this is the Bombshell Baker. It's a silicone mat. Marlo, I know you will get me on this. It's a silicone mat and there's two of them in here. So instead of having to use parchment paper or foil or anything like that, you can use these silicone mats and stuff doesn't stick to them. And they're, you can throw them in the dishwasher and oh, there's two of them there, 18 bucks. Guys, the last time I priced these, they were like $39 a piece. So I am so excited about my baking mats. Yes. Uh, even though I won't be having any cookies. Okay, I have to brag on myself, folks. I've been back on the keto wagon for about, well, I don't know, three weeks or so. Um, and Lisa knows because I'm like, I'm going into the battle zone, Lisa. Um, there were donuts. Marlo, there were donuts in the workroom today. I did not eat one. There was German chocolate cake the kind that has the coconut and the nutty deliciousness frosting. Didn't eat it. 
I took my lunch in there, ate my lunch, and I did not eat anything I wasn't supposed to. I was so proud of myself. And the reason I did that is because this morning I was down like three pounds and I was so excited. I'm like, I don't want to go mess it up. It's like, why did I work so hard through the week, go to the gym, eat what I'm supposed to do all this food prep and do all this for me to go eat the chocolate cake and the donut and run it all. I did not eat a donut. And you guys know that it is my weakness. Like, it is so much my weakness that sometimes I have the entire donut in my mouth before I even realize what I'm doing. <laughs> like I can eat an entire donut, I can inhale the whole thing before I even know that I'm doing it because I love them, okay? It's just ridiculous. And my colleague Ralph is like, Susie Homemaker Baker of the Year, and he makes homemade from scratch cakes. So everything that he makes is homemade. So that German chocolate cake, I was like, oh, oh. So I just left. I ate my ham and cheese bites, and I ate my cottage cheese, and I ate a half of a deviled egg, and I ate some yogurt, and I was a good girl. So I'm proud of myself. Uh, that you do need to be friends with Chip, with with Ralph Chip, because he is like this dude. When we have we have a um a weekly luncheon, and we have a we get together with our team, and we have a monthly luncheon with the whole school, and we have a weekly um meal together every week on Wednesdays. And like once a month, he brings like a homemade apple pie, or he made a homemade chocolate pie, a homemade coconut cream pot. I'm like, dude, you got to stop it. And he'll come in with the container. He'll be like, can I inter interest you in a snickerdoodle? I'm like, dude, you, you got you to gotta get away from me. <laughs> like, I love you very much, but get away from me because you're going to kill me. So anyways, I went to the neurologist yesterday and he said, you're doing what you need to do. He told me to kept, keep kicking. He said that with the exercise and the diet and the medicines that we're trying, that I'm doing everything that I can do to help with my illness, my pain, my everything. So I I feel like I'm doing the right thing and I don't want to screw it up. I'm back on the wagon. I just need to stay there. You know what I mean? I, I fell off the wagon on the holidays and I just could, I just didn't get back on. Like I was so done. I had gotten so complacent with just eating the same things over and over again. And like, I got to the point where if I saw these food items that I had eaten every day for six months that I was like never wanted to see them again. So Marlo and I have started researching and sharing recipes and doing different things and food prepping and all that. And for me, food prepping is what makes me successful because if I already have food that's prepared for the week, I won't eat something I shouldn't because I'm being lazy and I'm tired and I don't want to cook. And it's already in the refrigerator. It only just has to be put in the oven or it only just has to be put in the air fryer or it just needs to be reheated. And so as long as I do that, I'm good. Um, so yeah. Well, Rosalind, I've only been going, and hi, I didn't see you come in. Um, I've only been going to the neurologist for three months now. And so it's the first, I've worked with a rheumatologist. I've worked with a hematologist. Now I'm working with the neurologist. And I just, I don't know, I haven't given up yet. I keep trying, even though it doesn't seem, they don't seem to know what to do with me. You know, when you start talking about auto, autoimmune issues, they are so unique and so individual and everybody's body is so complex. It's really difficult to figure out what is the cause of the pain. Um, we just know it's I'm thankful that this doctor isn't one of those ones who just you know, says you're fat. That's what your problem is. Cause my whole life has always been you're fat. That's what your problem is. Um, and they just, you know, some people just stop at your fat and they won't even attempt to try anything. But this guy's like, I got a lot of tricks up my sleeve and we're going to try them all until we find one that helps. And what I am taking is helping overall. Um, I'm not, you know, pain free and I'm not flare free by any stretch of the imagination, but overall on the daily, I'm not in as much pain as I have been. So I'm thankful for that. The weather's been super unkind though, bouncing back and forth. One day is 12 degrees, the next day it's 75 and then it snows and thunderstorms and lightnings and hails and rains all in the same day. <laughs> so yeah. And oh my gosh, Anna, hi. <laughs> 
Oh, hi. How are you? And I bet you, with the fact that I'm not eating any breads, pastas, or any of that, I bet you I'm not eating, I'm, I bet you I'm pretty much gluten-free. Anna. I, I always ask her, how do you say it? Anna or Anna? And she says, whichever. So, Anna. I like Anna. Um, this is one of my best friends, sisters in Christ, that we have known each other for years and years and years. So, everybody meet Anna. She's wonderful. And everybody, this is Anna, my sister. I'm so happy to see you. That's so cool. See, I need to go live more often. I think if, you know, Marla's been like, Sherry, you just need to get yourself together and do it. Because I've been telling her for months I wanted to do it. Am I frozen? On my computer, I'm frozen. Oh, I think my computer might just have died. <laughs> I think it just did. Oh, fluff or nutter. Let me plug it in. Hang on. I may not see all your messages for a minute, guys. Give me one second. Or... 15 seconds because I bet you I'm going to cause an avalanche moving all these wires around. Probably not a great plan, but guess what? I'm going to do it anyway because that's just the kind of rebellious heifer I am. I am the rebellious heifer. Yes, I am. Okay. I want to talk about the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette and the Jeffree Star Royal, Royal, Royal Lust. How is it that I'm like, I have an alarm set to buy this tomorrow and I can't remember what it's called. How is that? Okay, I can't see anything that you're saying. Let me turn my messages back on my phone for a minute. And then once I get back in here. Okay. Thank you, Anna. So good to see you. Thank you for dropping by. Enjoy life group. Is it? Oh, it's not Tony Heber. He's on Mondays. I don't know which life group you go to now. Anyways, enjoy. Say a prayer for me. Okay. Am I still? Is there still? You guys still can't hear me? Oh, booger. No sound. Okay. Okay, am I back? Am I back? Okay. I was about to say that, um, I was, uh-oh, there's my ring light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I pushed the wrong button. Oops, <laughs> my bad. Did I just blind you all? <laughs> sorry. My husband's talking to A L E X A. Royal Lust palette and Jaclyn Hill. Yay or nay? Who's getting it? Who has? Who's not? And why? I was not going to get the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 until it was confirmed that it was the same formula as the first one because I use that all the time. It's one of my favorite palettes of all time. I love the formula and all I needed was for it to be confirmed that it was the same formula or better. And so I saw Nikki Tutorials. I saw Samantha Ravendahl. And I saw, who was the third one? On Nook is the other one that I love to watch. And they all confirmed that it was as good or better than the first one. And that's all I needed. So there's that. And then I know a lot of people are disappointed. I was slightly disappointed with the new Jeffree Star because I was expecting really rich, vibrant purples. I was expecting deep plums and, you know, great purples and like a whole bunch of monochromatic, just little variances, kind of like the, um, good Lord, why can't I remember the name of anything? The red one, uh, blood, 
Good God, what is it? Somebody help me. Um, somebody help me. Blood sugar. Thank you, Lisa. Blood sugar. Um, but here's the thing. I still like the colors. It doesn't, it's not what I envisioned. It's not what I wanted for a purple palette, but I still like the colors. You guys know the pinks and the light pinks and the shimmery pinks. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I understand why a lot of people aren't, but I am. Now, I don't like the name either. I, I don't like the name. Partially because I'm a teacher and I don't want to be talking about bloodlust or whatever, whatever it is. Is it bloodlust? Bloodlust? <laughs> so, <laughs> guys, just, just forgive me. My brain is finished. It was a very difficult day at work. Okay, so I'm getting it. After that, I'm back to my extreme no buy. I really am. Um, I made exceptions. Whenever I said I was going on a low buy, no buy, I meant like long term, like forever. <laughs> and I, for the fact that I am doing it forever is whenever I'm going to make special um, exceptions for things that I really like and I really like Jeffree Star eyeshadow. I really liked the first Jaclyn Hill palette, so I wanted the second one. Not even it's not even about supporting her and loving her, even though she was one of the first people I watched, and I she has a little bit of a, a place in my heart because she's part of the reason I fell in love with the beauty community. She's part of the reason I'm sitting here. You know, I found the beauty community and her, Emily Noel, and um. Manny was the first boy in makeup that I fell in love with. So there's people that even if people don't like them, it's cool. I, you like what you like. You do what you want to do. But for me, those are like the people that I have a sentimental thing with. But that's not the reason why I got the Jaclyn Hill palette. I got it because I love that formula and I love that first palette. And I know I will love the second one. Um, so... I'm completely frozen. Am I still here? Am I just talking to myself? Okay, I'm not frozen. Cool. So, yeah. Okay. Just as long as you guys can hear me. I'm probably going to hang out for another, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, and then I'm going to get gone. I'm going to make some, I'm going to make some chimichangas. And I don't, I don't say chimichanga because I don't know how to say it. I, I say it that way because I think it's funny. Nope, didn't eat. I mean, I had a snack. I had some cottage cheese. I had a snack. But I'm going to eat a, a real dinner here in a little while. I'm so glad I did this. I really am. I don't know why I hesitate about it so much because I enjoy it so much when I do it. But I think it's just because life has been crazy busy and I'm tired. I am tired deep down to my soul. I told my husband when I got home from work today, I said, I think it's almost time for a mental health day. And anybody who works with children and anybody who, who deals with chronic illness and anybody who takes care of someone who's chronically ill, I have all three of those. I work with children. I have a chronic illness and I take care of somebody who's chronically ill, who's legally blind and doesn't drive. And so he gets a ride to dialysis, but I have to pick him up there three days a week because until they can schedule him at an earlier time, the place that picks him up can't pick him up. And so, you know, several months a week, I'm out pretty late and where I'm just worn out. I'm tired. So I think a mental health day is coming soon, but we have flu and strep and stomach bug and everything going around our school right now. And um, a lot of our kids are sick. A lot of our teachers are sick. One of my colleagues in, on my team is in the hospital right now. She has the flu and a severe kidney infection. And so it's just not the time for me to be gone unless I have to be. And I am like germaxing myself. That's part of the reason why my nails are thrashed because I've been washing my hands like a crazy person because I'm like, please, Lord, I, I, please, I have enough. I can't, I can't, 
I've had a flu shot, so hopefully I will avoid that. But I don't want strep. Again, I don't want a stomach bug, you know. So it's just been with Patrick having issues and me having issues and still working and doing all, it's like everything I can do just to keep up with videos for my actual channel. And whenever I, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but I haven't been able to watch videos very much. Um, all the time that I have that's free, I'm filming and editing my own. And so I'm very sorry for people who are used to me always watching it, has become a, I go to that person's channel and I watch three or four or five in a row instead of me commenting right away on your video every time. That's just the way it's going to have to be. I'm, I'm doing the best I can to support everybody, but there's just not enough time in the world for everything that I have to do. There just isn't. So, um, I know Marlo can tell you, Lisa can tell you, I'm always like, okay, now I'm going here. Okay, now I'm going here. And now I got to do this. And this is my, <laughs> this is my to-do list for the weekend. And like my friends will say, I'm just tired just listening to your list, much less doing it. I'm tired just listening to you list the things that you have to do this weekend. And the majority of the time I get about two thirds down the way of my to-do list. And then I am flat out, out of steam out of steam. But my my desire, my wish would be to do a live once a week. I would love to do a live once a week just to hang out and chit chat and just relax and have a good time with and geek out on makeup with my friends and talk about makeup. I would love to do that. And I did that for like a year. I did a, a live every Wednesday. But with with Patrick's schedule, I he goes in at a certain time. Sometimes they get him on the machine right away. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes I have to get him at 7. Sometimes I have to get him at 7.45. Sometimes it's 9.30. So it's really hard for me. I mean, I guess I can sit down and start a live and chit-chat. And then if they call me, I could be like, okay, guys, love you. Gotta go. Bye. <laughs> and I know you guys would probably be you know, gracious about it, but that's probably the reason why I don't, because I just don't ever know when, and the nights that I don't go pick him up, I've been trying to go to the gym, and the reason I didn't go today is because I'm really in a lot of pain, and tomorrow I have a super busy day, and I don't need to have more pain. I don't need to push it today. I'll put it that way, so I'm going to go to the gym on Saturday, but I think I'm on a babble, Marlo. I, I'm pretty sure I'm on a babble. <laughs> okay, tell me one good thing that happened to you today. A compliment you got, a breakthrough that you had, an aha moment, somebody did something kind for you. I already know yours, Marlo. Tell me something good, okay? I'm going to sing Shaka Khan. Tell me something good. Am I going to get a copyright strike? probably. Tell me that you love me. Yeah. Tell me something good. Go. <laughs> you know what, Rosalind? Makeup covers a lot of ills. I'm sitting here looking at myself going, man, the concealer did not do enough today. <laughs> when I'm not doing well, I'm super black under my eyes. And most of the time, it covers it up pretty well. But today, not so much. Yes, Marlo got her friend sent her, friend Lou sent her the JH palette for her birthday. So I'm so happy about that. But yes, makeup covers up a lot of stuff. Um... And I'm okay with that. Like, I don't, I don't, I am not the person who wants the pity party. I'm not the person who wants to need help. I'm not the person who um, even wants anybody to know that I'm sick. Like, I don't want, I'm proud, I guess, in that way. Um, I, I want to do things myself. I want to be independent, you know? My team at school, I know they're so sweet and so wonderful to me. And they will um, totally you know, help me out, pick my kids up, do anything I need them to do whenever I'm not doing well. And, but I hate to ask, but I'm getting better about that. Okay. 
there's a whole bunch of people in this room, make sure you thumbs me up because there's only five thumbs up and there's a thumbs down. Somebody doesn't like me. That's rude that I come here and I spill out my heart and I come here and I spend my time and they thumbs me down. It's rude. Anyway, I don't really care. Yeah. You know what I have to say about that? I can't say it on here. But, mm, mm, mm. I ain't gonna pay you no never mind. How about that? Oh, I gotta show you guys something. Here's my other something good. If I can bend over. <laughs> Ouch. Look what Lisa sent to me. Boom. Can I read the message, Lisa? Because I think it's such a cute thing that you said. Can I read it to them? Boom. This she got me for that Valentine's Day. So now I can say welcome back to my channel. <laughs> and I can say it's Jeffrey and Sherry approved. Welcome back to my channel. Kind of like my, oh, is Erica still here? Is Erica still here? I'll do the beast. I'll, I'll get the beast out for you. Did Erica leave me? I, it's been so long since I did the beast. I don't know if I can still do the beast. You guys, it took me six years to figure out how to do this, but I can do it now. Okay, somebody tell me something good. Are you still hearing me? Okay, I'm going to do the beast since nobody's saying nothing. Beast. This thing is tearing apart, though. And I haven't even mistreated it. But look, it's coming apart. Anastasia. What's up with that, Anastasia? Beast. I feel like I'm talking to myself. I feel like nobody's here. Am I frozen? Beast. <laughs> yeah, I forget that Mary likes that too. But Chip said something about this being a really small mirror to me. This looks like a really big mirror. My whole head fits in there. Hmm. I look quite pretty. Lisa. Can I share the message because it's cute what you wrote on the card? Can I? She might have fallen asleep. Hi, Miss V. Congratulations. That's awesome. We bought our house in January seven years ago. But isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful to know that you're paying for something that you actually get to keep? Because I rented for so long. I know I bought many homes and many apartment buildings for many landlords. So congratulations. Ah, gotcha. I'm probably going to get off of here soon. I was going to say I could restart, but that would be unnecessary. Okay. I'm reading Lisa's card because it is so cute. It says, happy Valentine's day. Our friendship is definitely Jeffree Star approved. How cute is that? <gasps> How cute is that? And she sent me this, and she sent me some good molecules overnight. Um, shut up, Marlo. I love you. Um, you must be, you guys must be way behind, because I talked about Babel Babel a way long time ago. But anyways, how sweet is that? How sweet is that? And it's pink. Okay, that is the reason why I will not be buying the purple glittery mirror tomorrow. I have... Z pink one, of course. I have, see, these are the talks that I'm having with myself. I have this one. I can't find the other one that I am trying to show you. Of course, it's not where I thought it was. Oh, here it is. I have the beast one. How cute is that with the little lips? And I have the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Mirror, okay? I'm pretty sure I can see myself. 
Pretty sure I can see myself. But I still want the purple glittery one, but I'm not getting it. Love you, Mama. Have fun playing cards. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Bye, Mary. Love you. Oh, wow, Ms. V. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> Bye, Lisa. Everybody's leaving me. So I guess that's my cue, you guys, that it's time to go make some dinner and get myself in my grandma es nightgown and do some relaxing. But thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. I will try to do this more often. I really will. I really will try to do this more often. It was so great to see all of you. Thank you so much for coming. I love you so much. <laughs> Bye, guys.